This is a walk through some of the Wally closes in Inverclyde. Wally is a Scots word that means ceramic or clay and is applied to Wally dugs and Wally teeth as well as closes. You will get, be guided round many examples of various types of these unique closes. This is the cross section of a traditional Wally close. Wally closes were closes that were decorated by the landlords of Greenock to attract tenants. They were built mainly between 1880 and 1920. This close-up of a close is revealing. The visitor enters the close walking on floor tiles that are very hard wearing called encaustic tiles, where the tile's colour is all the way through the tile. On the walls there would be protective glossy tiles and to top them at about shoulder height there would be a border. The border would have geometric patterns, idealised exotic flowers or scenic views. Above the doors to the apartments, in the transom windows, there would be painted images of scenes or Victorian ladies. In each of the landings, there would be coloured glass or painted flowers or scenes. This, if the close was posh enough, would be replicated through every floor. In Inverclyde, there are five areas of interest. Three in Greenock, one in Port Glasgow and one in Gourock. We will visit all five. The first we will visit is Port Glasgow. There are not many closes left, but one or two are special. We will follow the numbered sequence. Each of the spots is the site of a Wally close or more than one. The closes in Port Glasgow vary from elaborate to plain, but have some properties such as encaustic tiles not seen elsewhere in Inverclyde. This is a view of Springside Terrace. It is the remains of a large tenement. It is just yards from the site of the now demolished tenements of Bouvery. There are three or four remaining Wally Closes. This is a Springside Wally Close with plain wall protective tiles and a majolica strip of tiles for decoration and topping off. The majolica technique was first invented in Spain and then taken to Italy in the Middle Ages. They are tiles of very bright colours and allow the artist to show relief and are especially attractive in the light changes in a Wally close. This is a close-up of a majolica tile of an exotic flower with its three-dimensional aspects. Typically in these closes, the tiles are in the entrance to the closes and do not go higher. A view from the close mouth up to the landing where there is no decoration. Number two in the map is Glen Avenue. Here are two closes that are rare in Inverclyde because they show wall tiles and also encaustic floor tiles off to advantage. This view of the whole landing and each landing has an almost unworn encaustic tile pattern. This is very distinctive in Inverclyde. This is the landing windows of this almost complete Wally Close intact for over a century. This is a view of the entrance hallway and as well as the wall protection tiles and the majolica pattern, you also have diamond shaped encaustic tiles. This is a tenement from the early 20th century and the tiles have worn very little, especially on the two landings. Majolica tiles with the shadowing effect. This is number three on the map and is Mary Street in the west end of Port Glasgow. These are two or three examples of fairly plain closes. Mary Street has white and green plain closes, clean but utilitarian. Bright colours, but there are no patterns. Brown Street is number four on the map. It is an unusual street as there are two distinct styles of Wally closes on display. This is the planar style with large white protective wall tiles and a chequered decorative pattern. This close, also in Brown Street, has a more flamboyant look. Here you have majolica tiles at their best, 
there are vivid green protective tiles and a rich decorative exotic majolica flower. A close-up of the exotic flower. The centre of Port Glasgow is number five in the map. John Wood Street was built about 1903 and was a completely new street. The attractive red sandstone buildings overflowed into Princess Street and King Street. All closes in the new buildings were Wally closes, but very simply done. The walls were covered in white protection tiles and black and green highlighting. High Home Street is number six on the Port Glasgow map. Here are three or four closes that show a very complete picture of Wally closes in Inverclyde. The entranceway shows white protection tiles with green highlighting and unique majolica decoration. The floors are protected on every landing with bright encaustic tiles but of a different pattern than in Glen Avenue. A view of the practically unworn or undamaged encaustic tiles. High Home Street is almost complete as it has retained its original coloured landing windows giving a very attractive light source to the close. In East Greenock from the map there are six areas of interest. The style of the closes is more varied than Port Glasgow with Majolica style closes and more modern geometric pattern closes. Lindock Street and Regent Street are number one on the map. They are examples of modern decoration of old closes to improve the close appearance. Through the wire observation window you can see the plain but clean and attractive tiling. There is no use of majolica style tiling. The closes, and there are more than seven, are each of a different style and unique. Upper Bank Street is also an area of geometric modern closes and is number two on the map. Here is a close with modern geometric styling. Another unique close, clean and modern. Hope Street and a small portion of Bank Street have traditional majolica tiles. It is number three on the map. Showing the close entrance using majolica tiles. The small portion of Bank Street with the Hope Street style. Wall decoration in Bank Street. Armadale Place is number four on the map. This is three or four closes of a very high standard with painted landing windows. The entranceway and the green protective tiles with an exotic flower in the Majolica tiles. This shows the Armadale and Mern Street landing window and its high standard of finish. In Mern Street round the corner, there are three exact copies of the Armadale closes. In Roxburgh Street, which is number five in the map, there are Wally closes, but of a much plainer nature again. A view of the plain decoration. A third piece of Bank Street has a very traditional Wally close. It is number six on the map. This shows green protective tiles with a new exotic flower in the Majolica tiles. This is a beautiful close-up. This map shows West End closes in Greenock. There is also here a variety of Wally close styles. Nelson Street and South Street and they are rich in modern geometric style. Here are a few of the individually unique closes. Nelson Street with slight border decoration. Nelson Street with modern colouring. Moving into South Street, a fine example, and this is a repeat of a Nelson Street close. Kelly Street has some Wally closes and is number three on the map. This is a plain example with check decoration. In another part of Kelly Street, there is an older style of Wally Close. 
This shows the close entrance with cream protective tiles. This is our first Majorica tiles with geometric patterns and colours. Newton Street has a magnificent tenement with a fine classic Majolica close and is number four on our map. This has brownish protective tiles and large green Majolica geometric tiles. This is a close-up of the repetitive three-dimensional tiles in attractive grey borders. Robertson Street is number four on the map and here is an entrance way. This is the bright Majolica flower pattern. Here is a close-up of the flower petals and the colour variations caused by the Majorica process. One addition in the Robertson Street were the attractive highlights in the landing windows, similar to the windows in High Home Street in Port Glasgow. Argown Street and Patrick Street are number five on the map. They are of the same style. This shows the close entrance and the large Majolica decoration. These are similar closes in Patrick Street. In Finnert Street, there are two good examples of Wally closes. The first close has striking green protective tiles and a very prominent majolica flower. This close overall is very well maintained, with tiling going all the way to the top floor. It has also striking landing windows with well-preserved painting. Repeating pattern of the flowers. The second close is much plainer and the tiles are limited to the first floor. The brown majolica tiling, however, is very attractive and well-preserved. There is a landing window of a planar style that has also been well maintained. A final view showing the Majolica 3D effect. This is West Stewart Street with traditional Wally closes. This is number six on the map. The entranceway has cream protective tiles and a geometric Majolica style. Close up of the fern like Majolica. This is Houston Street, but is number seven on the map. This is a close-up of the attractive swirling leaves and flowers. This is a similar wally close nearby with similar protection tiles. There is a third similar wally close with the same protection tile scheme, but different decoration. This map covers an area I call the Esplanade. It covers Campbell Street, Broome Street, Margaret Street and Sandringham Terrace. Campbell Street is a street with three unique closes. It is number one on the map. The first close with a large majolica flower and green protective tiles. A second close and a different flower. Third close and third flower. Here we also have a landing window with painted glass panels. An example of transom windows above doors. This is a rose motif. Brome Street is number three on the map. It has a variety of Wally closes. It was once a very fashionable street. Both the north and south sides of the street have fine closes. This is an example with rich reds and greens. This is a nice close-up that shows the profile of the clay in the Majolica. A different style in Brome Street, with the Majolica pattern set in the protective tiling. A clear view of the decoration in the protective tiles. This is the entranceway to the close on the north side of Brome Street to the west. It is a unique close. This is a view of a Majolica flower tile. This close has both distinctive Majolica tiles, but a unique landing window. This is the east end of Brome Street and again a unique Wally Close. These are the pale, delicate Majolica tiles. These are the Wally Closes that are to be seen in Margaret Street and Sandringham Terrace. 
These are number three on the Esplanade map and are unique Wally closes. In this one, we see the deep green protection tiles and also the pictorial tiles that set these Wally closes apart. There are four or so pictorial closes with each decoration reaching up to the top floor. In each close, there are over 300 five by five inch uniquely drawn pictorial tiles. The tiles were designed by a Glasgow firm known as J. Duncan, whose name is marked on each close. The tiles portray a nautical view of the River Clyde and show paddle steamers, yachts, houses, castles and lighthouses set against the scenery of the river. Besides the outstanding value of the pictorial tiles, the painted landing windows are also exceptional. Sandringham Terrace has one of the pictorial body closes, but it has a second style too. This is the geometric style, and it is exactly the same style as the large tenement building in Newton Street. An attractive rich curve on Sandringham Terrace. This is the Gourock map. We have labelled both streets, Ashburn Gate and Ashburn Gardens, as number one, as they are identical in styling. Both were built in the 1913 time frame. The tenements are substantial in both streets, with this Ashburn Gardens the younger of the two. The Wally closes themselves are not very special. They are covered with white protection tiles with black and white decorations. Their attraction is their beautifully painted landing windows and the Art Nouveau transom windows above the doors. Each Wally close has a different painted scene, with a few repeated. A sunset scene. Lady in a transom window. A country road. Another scene of a fence and a river. A second Art Nouveau lady in the transom window. A third unique lady. A river scene with clouds. A scene with an autumn feel to it. A flower scene with the green washed out. River scene in deep colours. A washed out window. Flowers with the colour variations. We hope you have enjoyed our expedition and will dip in when you feel a desire to visit us.